this video, I worked on it uh, about a year ago on it, um, and it's been sitting there. And I finally ran into it. It's it's called Ishmael, Ishmael, the son of Abraham, the son of Ibrahim. So we're going to go right to it. We're going to see the first time Ishmael shows up. The name. It's going to be on Bereshit. And it's going to be under Genesis 16, 11. My wife's going to read from the Samaritan text. And the angel Shehma said to her, Behold, you are with child and you will bear a son and you shall call his name Yishmael, because Shehma has heard your affliction. He will be fertile of man. Now, can we show what it is? I'm already there. Okay. Did you read 16, 12? Yes, I did. He okay. will be fertile of man. I'm going to show something interesting right off the bat. This is why it's so important that people should know about Ishmael. When you read Genesis 16, 12 from the Masoretic text, this is what it's going to say. And we're going to go straight to Genesis 16, 12. And this is a very big difference. A very big These difference. These are the variants between the Samaritan Bible and the Masoretic text and the New Age translations, of course. But also the King James Version. That's correct. And he will be a wild man. So this one says Hold fertile. On. That one says wild. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Now, just from reading this, it is such a negative connotation. connotation. It denotes the seed of Abraham that Hashem said that I will bless. Your seed. I will make you now, fruitful. I'm going to Fertile. show, once again, what the Samaritan says. So read for us text, Genesis, verse 16, 12 from the Samaritan text. He will be fertile of man. Hold on. Masoretic text says wild man. That says fertile. It is not good for man to be alone. Man must procreate. You must multiply. This is what Father says. You must procreate. Keep going. So going on, his hand will be with Everyone. Now, listen, with everyone. As opposed to? Masoretic text, against. Now, against and with, there's a lot of difference. Now, keep going. Uh, and everyone's hand will be with him. Hmm. Everyone's hand will be against him. Hmm. This is the Masoretic text. And he will live among all his brethren. Interesting enough, the last verse matches perfectly. He's going to be with his brethren. Now, we're going to see what be that him. means. Because we're going to see going forward, he's going to be with his brother when they're ready to bury Abraham. Now, we're going to read from these new translations. This is for our Christian brothers. I'm going to show how anti-Semitic the Christians have really become with these translations. This is from the NIV. And the NIV is new international, international version. version. You hear these new, new, new. Now, new, new. I'm going to read it. Wild donkey of a man. So not only are they calling him wild, wild but they're also donkey. saying he's a donkey. Now here, JPS, what does it stand for? Jewish Publication Society. Look at the date, 1917. What's going on in it's 1917? after KJV. World War I. Now, JPS says ass of a man. So he's not going to call him a donkey. They're going to call him an ass. Now, we're going to go to Genesis 21.13. We're going to see another anti-Semitic attack on Ishmael, the seed of Ishmael. You want Masoretic? Read from the Samaritan first. Okay. And also the son of this, and this is strong, this made, will I make a, and then great, it's uh, put in bold, great nation. So this is bold. Great is bolded nation because he is your descendant. Now, I want you to read it from the Masoretic text, Summer. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation because he is I see. Okay, hold on now. We're going to see the difference here. Samaritan says, son of this may, and the word great shows up. I'm going to read from the Masoretic text slowly so we can see it. So... And also... The son of a bondwoman will I make a nation because he is thy seed. Now, bond means purchased. 
there's some type of a transaction. It seems like bonded. a negative, negative there's thought process. There's a note on her. Um, of course, we see that's not true. Because, because in order for Hagar to be a wife of our patriarch, Abraham, she must follow the halakha, the commandments of Hashem, and she is called a wife. From there, we're going to go to Genesis 25, 16. One page over. Excellent. These Excellent. are the sons of Yishmael, and these are the names by their yards and by their castles, 12 chiefs according to their tribes. And these are the years of the life of Yishmael, 137 years, and he breathed his last and died and was gathered to his people. Wow. 12 tribes. 12 tribes of Ishmael. So this Ishmael, back then, when they give you a name, is because you continued on your genealogy with that tribe. We're going to talk about this later on. Later. Inshallah, to see the Shahad and the Shukla, we're going to say in Arabic, Ashhad. Ashhad and Anna. لا إله لا إله إلا الله إلا الله وأشهد وأشهد أن أن محمدا محمدا رسول الله رسول الله وأشهد وأشهد أن أن عيسى عيسى عبد الله عبد الله ورسوله ورسوله ما شاء الله تكبير الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا رسول الله وأشهد أن عيسى عبد الله ورسوله تكبير يا شباب الله أكبر الله أكبر تكبير الله أكبر